Humans are weird in many ways. We find excitement in things that scare the bejesus out of us, and if it's a good fright you want, we got you covered there, bucko. Today we're gonna be looking at 15 of the scariest places on Earth. Number 15. Belit Heilsteiten Hospital. This sexy building abandoned hospital has a colorful history that is definitely on par with its creepy appearance. Originally built for treatment of tuberculosis patients, this was also where young Adolf Hitler recovered from a thigh injury during World War I. The hospital was afterwards used as a treatment facility for German soldiers during World War II. After East Germany fell under Soviet control, the building became a Soviet military hospital until 1994. Its most famous patient was one communist leader, Erich Honecker. The abandoned site has since been used as a set for some Hollywood movies, with its creepy ambiance the perfect background for horror movies. Number 14. The Stanley Hotel The Stanley Hotel's stately Georgian architecture and world-renowned whiskey bar have lured travelers to SS Park since opening in 1909. However, the hotel reached new levels of fame after inspiring Stephen King to create The Shining's fictional Overlook Hotel. That eerie association already makes this place scary enough, but it's not cinematic spooks that make this place one of the more haunted places on Earth. Many other ghost sightings and some mysterious piano music have been connected to the hotel. And the Stanley Hotel leans into its reputation, with nightly ghost tours and psychic consultations from the in-house Madame Vera. Number 13. The Capuchin Catacombs If you think that Egypt has the monopoly on mummies, well, you're wrong. That aside, you'd be forgiven to think that Egypt has the largest mummy collection in the world. Again, wrong. The Capuchin Catacombs in Palermo, Italy are home to the largest collection of mummies in the world. Originally built for the use of the monks of the monastery, it was eventually filled with the buried, forcing the monks to build an expansion. And when they exhumed some of the corpses, they found that they had been naturally mummified and magnificently preserved. This was seen as an act of God, and soon thousands of people were requesting to be buried here. The catacombs effectively stopped accepting bodies in 1880, and today people can come visit the catacombs, that is if you're comfortable with thousands of mummies staring at you with dead eyes while you walk by. Number 12. The Tower of London Just its bloody history qualifies it for being one of the scariest places on Earth. Built by William the Conqueror in 1066, this uncompromising fortress has had many functions, but it's best known for its bloody history as a prison and execution site. It was actually here that Henry VIII famously executed two of his wives. No charmer, that guy. It's also where two young princes were imprisoned after the death of their father, King Edward IV. They disappeared shortly after in 1483, and the remains weren't found until 1647. Unsurprisingly, ghost stories of the tower's victims and ghost tours through historic royal palaces are abound. Number 11. The Hill of Crosses Located 7.5 miles north of a town in northern Lithuania, the Hill of Crosses is definitely one of the creepiest places you're gonna see. Crosses are thought to have first appeared on the site during this time as a way of expressing the desire for Lithuanian independence. Crosses continued to be placed on the site throughout the medieval period by local Catholics. During a peasant uprising against Russian control of the area in 1831, the practice of placing crosses in remembrance of the missing and the dead rebels began. By 1895, it's recorded that there were 150 large crosses on the site, and this number grew by 400 by 1940. It's estimated that there are more than 100,000 crosses on the hill as of 2007. Thousands visit the site each year, with the most famous visit occurring in 1993 when Pope John Paul II came to dedicate the site. Number 10. Forsyth Park The entire city of Savannah is pretty much one giant ghost story, due in large part to its long history of war and bloodshed, as well as the mysterious tunnels that run below the town streets. The underground structures play a major role in many of Savannah's most haunted locations, including Forsyth Park, the fountain green space you probably recognize from a postcard or two. According to Savannah Magazine, doctors at the adjacent Candler Hospital performed autopsies in the tunnels below. Historians say these below-the-surface rumblings make Forsyth Park particularly ripe for sightings of shadowy, now-you-see-the-now-you-don't figures. Number 9. Centralia You ever heard of the real Silent Hill? If you haven't yet, then let me take you to Centralia, Pennsylvania. Centralia is a near-ghost town in Columbia County. The town sits over an underground coal mine fire that's been burning since 1962, and the ground is always warm from the flames, even in the winter. Okay, sounds like the perfect place to have a vacation if you're not so fond of the cold. 
That'd hold your horses. Poisonous smoke seeps up from the ground, killing any sign of plant life on the surface. Sinkholes randomly open up, swallowing unsuspecting passerbys, including pets, deers, and a young boy who got sucked into a more than 100 foot deep pit. The US government finally ordered a total evacuation of the town in 1984, but a handful of extremely stubborn residents simply refused to leave. I bet you that their last names are Giuseppe. Number 8. Rainham Hall Rainham Hall was originally the family home of Samuel Townsend, a well-to-do merchant and town clerk of Oyster Bay, Long Island. Following the Patriots' defeat in the Battle of Long Island in 1776, Rainham Hall was taken by the British Army to court of their officers. Among those officers was one young Lieutenant Colonel John Graves Simcoe. However, Rainham Hall is probably more well known for the ghosts that reportedly haunt the place. Foremost among them is dubbed the Brown Lady of Rainham Hall. The ghost is thought to be that of Lady Dorothy Townshend, wife of Charles Townshend. It was rumored that Dorothy, before her marriage to Charles, had been unfaithful. Charles did suspect her infidelity. Although according to legal records, she died and was buried in 1726, it was suspected that the funeral was a hoax and that Charles had locked his wife away in a remote corner of the house until her death many years later. Number 7. Leap Castle Built sometime between the 13th and the late 15th century, this Irish castle has seen a lot of gruesome deaths, probably even more than that of the Red Wedding of Game of Thrones fame. Legend says that during a struggle for power within the O'Carroll clan, one member plunged a sword into his brother, who just so happened to be a priest, while he was holding mass in the castle's chapel. The room itself is now called the Bloody Chapel, obviously, and the murdered priest is said to still haunt the church at night. The castle's ghastly history doesn't stop there, though. During renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with human skeletons. They found so many that they filled three cartloads of bodies. The dungeon itself was designed so that prisoners would fall through a trap door, have their lungs punctured by wooden spikes on the ground, and die a slow, horrific death with an earshot of the sinister clan members above. Ugh. Number 6. The Ancient Ram Inn Built in 1145, England's Ancient Ram Inn has played many roles over the centuries. A former priest residence, housing for masons and slaves, an inn, and a public house. And if the most recent resident is to be believed, a cheap motel for frisky apparitions. Chief among the reported apparitions of the inn is a succubus and an incubus. According to paranormal experts, the incubus and the succubus is actually just one entity. It disguises itself as a woman to have sex with men, being the succubus, but then turns into the incubus to have sex with women. The current owner even reports the succubus visiting him multiple times at night to, you know, get it on. The inn is still open to guests who want to spend the night, and if you plan to, it's only fair to give you warning. Many guests have reportedly leapt from the windows in a frenzy to escape the horrifying, you know, sex monster. Number 5. Winchester Mystery House Following the death of her husband, the rifle magnate William Ward Winchester, Sarah Winchester, became the heir to his rifle empire. The thing is, that's not the only thing she inherited. She believed that the ire of all the spirits of the people the Winchester rivals have killed over the years have also transferred to her. To escape the spirit, she commissioned a Victorian house that can be described as nothing short of a labyrinth. The sprawling Queen Anne-style mansion, comprising four stories, 160 rooms, 10,000 window panes, and 47 stairways, is filled with loads of weird stuff, like staircases leading directly into the ceiling and windows opening onto secret passages. And, of course, it's also said that Sarah's spirit also roams the confusing halls of this house. Number 4. Poveglia Island Less than half a mile from the canals of Venice lies Paveglia Island, said to be one of the most haunted places on Earth. In the past, it has served as a quarantine zone for bubonic plague victims, storage space for Napoleon's weapons, and the site of an early 20th century insane asylum. It's said that it played host to horrific medical experiments and finally closed for good when a doctor threw himself off the institution's bell tower. Locals still claim to hear echoing chimes from the island, even though the bell was removed decades ago. It is illegal to visit Paveglia today, but you can see the island and decaying hospitals safely from the beaches of nearby Lido. Or you can watch the episodes of Ghost Adventures about the place. This was filmed prior to the island's closure to the public. Number 3. The Eastern State Penitentiary The castle-like Eastern State Penitentiary took solitary confinement to new and inhumane levels when it was opened in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, and ate alone. When an inmate left his cell, a guard would cover his head with a hood so he couldn't see or be seen. 
Quite expectedly, it drove most of the inmates insane. If they weren't already insane when they were incarcerated, of course. In 1913, the prison had to abandon the solitary confinement system, not because they figured it was too inhumane, but rather due to overcrowding. Their brutal practices, however, still endured, with one of the most brutal ones calling for inmates' tongues to be chained to their wrists in a torture device fondly called the Mad Chair. It was closed for good in 1970. The site itself now welcomes visitors every year, both for its museum and Halloween celebrations. Reported paranormal happenings have included disembodied laughter, shadowy figures, and pacing footsteps. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Before we get into this, what do you do when you see a silhouette of a man that looks like it drowned at the bottom of the ocean? Well, panicking is a very good option, and I'd say that's exactly what some diver felt when they dove down this very popular dive site in Malta. What am I talking about? Find out more next with number two. Christu Tal Bahara. 56 Belit, the surface of the Mediterranean Sea, near the town of Portofino on the Italian Riviera, stands a life-size sculpture of Jesus Christ. His arms are outstretched toward heaven in a posture of invocation, or if you ask some people, it looks like a person who is drowning. The underwater sculpture of Jesus Christ owes his existence to the legendary Italian diver Giulio Marcante, who came up with the idea for the underwater statue while mourning the death of his colleague Dario Ganzati. He was one of the pioneers of scuba diving as well. Gonzati was killed during a dive at that spot in 1947. The reason why anyone would erect a statue that looks like it's drowning in memory of a man who actually drowns still eludes me. I guess it's the thought that counts? Maybe. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Island of the Dolls Despite its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its well-preserved example of Aztec life, the neighborhood of Zocamilico, which I'm pretty sure I mispronounced, has reached a certain amount of internet fame for its Island of Dolls, and when you see the place, you'll quickly know the reason why. The island is famous for the hundreds of dolls and various doll parts hanging from trees and scattered among the grass. While it might look more like a horror movie set, the island actually used to be the residence of a now-deceased man named Julian Santa Barrera. After finding a dead girl's body in a nearby canal, Barrera collected and displayed the toys in the hopes of warding off evil spirits, at least according to National Geographic. Daring souls can hire their own boat and view the island safely from the water. Are you brave enough to set foot in any of these places? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!